Okay, thank you for joining me as I take you through how I use the Janome Quilt Binder Set. I love this tool. I think it is absolutely amazing and is something that is perfect for adding to your stash of sewing toys. So if we look at the tool set itself, when you take that backing off, what you've got is all of your instructions here and this t is used for um, two inch or five centimeter tape so I've already made some tape here and it's going to give me a half inch or 15 mil finished binding so let's see what comes in the box we've got the base plate cover and by base plate cover, I mean I take my, um, my bobbin cover off and then I attach that base plate there. It also comes with a foot, no, with an accessory because it's not the foot at all. This sits on here and guides our tape through. So really not a foot at all. It does come with its own presser foot. Now, whilst it does come with its own presser foot, I actually like using my walking feet with this. So I'm gonna continue using my walking feet as I attach my binding. And then we've got three screws one tall, two not, and those screws, the tall one at the back, once you've set the position of how you want that tape to be fed in, we can screw that into position and it won't hurt. These two screw down here, but I don't want to screw those in until I've placed my tape into position. Now I told you that I like to use my walking foot. Today I actually want to use my heavy big walking foot and what I find by using this is I just personally get a nicer finish. Okay so that is screwed on. Next up I'm going to bring my tape and here I've got my walking foot, my bias tape and the, um, and the fabric. And I'm just going to pull that through. And that then gets basically fed into position. Now, having said that, I'm not happy with the way that was looking. Okay, so that's a lot nicer. Then we need to feed it through the shuttle. And when I say feed it through the shuttle, what we do is using either an awl or our thing, we want to come and feed it through and it's got two main parts this first part is the part to keep it straight and then the second part is where it does all of the work and what you can see along here is it folds it here and here and then if I bring my fabric through there you can see I've got a folded edge there and I've got a folded edge there and then my fabric goes in the middle there and gives me a beautiful finished seam 
So, then I just need to decide where I'm going to place this. And when I say where I'm going to place it, it is a matter of where that seam is going to sit. And you can see here, as I move this across, that is different seam widths. And that's if you're going to use a decorative stitch or if you're going to use a plain stitch. And then it's all about what direction you want to feed that in with. So how out of the way do you want that to be? And that becomes an all about you question. So it's a little bit of fiddling around and finding what the best way for you is. I kind of like about this angle because it seems to give me the most amount of space to play with. And then I come through and I lock down these two sections and again if I'm worried that I haven't done that or that it might move just use your um, your little stubby screwdriver and now I'm ready to start stitching. <laughs> 